A small farming venture is helping new Americans get started growing and selling their own crops. Jeff Beach shows how the New Roots Farm Incubator is helping farmers grow. Cherry tomatoes, corn, green beans, peas, everything. Simeon Bakunda came to the U.S. from Congo 18 years ago. This is his fourth year as a member of the New Roots Co-op. Picking the right size? Yes, that's the right size. Okay, good. He was active in a community garden for several years before that, but he wanted to expand, growing food from his home country, especially his favorite African eggplant. In addition to growing for his family, Bakunda sells his produce at farmers markets and ethnic grocery stores. Our customers know where we grow our stuff. They like our stuff. We are so proud to be part of, um, to be part of contributing to feeding the, the community. The New Roots Incubator has 12 members this year. They are working to expand on 60 acres near the Prairie Rose Farm at Felton, Minnesota for the 2023 growing season. It's gorgeous. It looks like things are going really well this year. Yes. Verna Kragnus is one of the co-op's founders and helped raise money to get it started and now to grow. The incubator gives farmers support they need from equipment to marketing. That's what we're really excited about with New Roots is to see in the future more and more farms that have gotten themselves launched and successfully operating. A qualifying farmer will become eligible for help, such as crop insurance, through the Farm Service Agency. So a lot of this, these vegetables are new to you? Yes, yes. Mohan Dakal and his wife came from Bhutan in 2014, where they had been farmers. So this small piece of land feels like home. We are happy to have this. So um, this garden is good for us. Oh, wow, look at that. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> this is great. The success of New Roots has even led it to be named the 2022 Clay County Farm Family of the Year. The farm has launched a campaign to raise half a million dollars for the expansion. Donations can be made through the West Central Initiative. Thanks for watching AgWeek TV on YouTube. Make sure to like and subscribe. We put out new videos every Saturday.